Sag here with your weekly Monday memo. So this week we go into the week with Sun in Taurus, with Mercury in Taurus. Of course, Mercury is now in retrograde. Um, Venus in Gemini and Mars in Cancer, which means that we have a lot of influence through the Sun and Mercury. Of course, with Mercury in retrograde, it can be considered an obstacle or a hindrance or slowed down or reversed, of course, energy. But we have a lot of influence from Taurus which is very earthy, very slow and steady, very grounded, very much of a foundation, but can also switch over into being like a little too cozy, a little too homely, and a little stubborn. Um, we also have that so sort of social curiosity through Venus and Gemini still, and we also have that sort of intuitive and emotionally driven aspects to ourselves when it comes to our ambitions and goals, and maybe even our conflict. Um, there are no other things that I will really bring up for this week, though I will say that even though I'm not bringing anything up this week, we are still feeling a lot of the energies from last week's shifts and events. You know, that new moon, solar eclipse combination was intense and is intense. So if you still feel a lot of energetic heaviness, that could be why. You know, we also have Mercury that went into retrograde last week. We're also having an amazing amount of solar um, activity as the sun is increasingly going into its active phase. I mean, we even had um, a coronal mass ejection that hit Earth so intensely that there was auroras down to Netherlands and Europe. So there's a lot of intense energies going on. And that's not even to talk about what's going on with the weather and, you know, each other, the collective consciousness and all these things. So if you're feeling tired, if you're feeling drained, if you're feeling emotional, it's likely due to all these things going on. There's also a heads up for next week, you know, um, on the first Pluto is going to go retrograde. And this is also the day of Beltane, at least in the Northern Hemisphere. So there's both going to be some intense astrological energies and some seasonal and nature connected energies and spirit. Um, so we are still very much in the heightened state of a lot of things going on. So my advice would be, you know, to really take this time to do a lot of self-care. Notice what your triggers are right now, because a lot of things are coming up to the surface for you to deal with and for you to confront, especially with all the Pluto involvement right now, especially because it was square, um, the, the new moon solar eclipse. There are a lot of things that... Um, we are challenged to put to rest or that we are challenged to address that we've been hiding and, you know, where we might need to do some change that hasn't come around. So be aware of these things. Um, and as always, I have a card for those of you who feel that it is for you. And it is, it is trust in the magic. And you can see there's two ravens on it, which is very interesting. So some of you will have some personal associations with that. And... This really goes hand in hand with everything that's going on. You know, this is a challenging time for a lot of people. Even if you aren't seeing um, challenges and obstacles manifesting into your life in the shape of circumstance, situations, uh, relationships with people, even if you're not having like a clear, oh, that relationship's falling apart or my job situation is changing, um, you might still feel all these things going on and there might be a lot of internal things going on. So things that aren't visible within quotation marks, but are still going on internally. Um, and as such, when we go through these times, it's easy for us to lose trust because we tend to have this idea that, you know, if everything's aligned, of course, everything should feel smooth and joyous and at least harmonious or balanced. But life is a journey and even you know, when we are in alignment, we can still encounter obstacles and challenges to encourage us to grow because we can grow too cozy, if you will, <laughs> especially now with this Taurus energy. Um, so we do need those little things to keep us going, but it's very easy when there's a lot of them to feel like, feel challenged or to even feel like you're doing something wrong or you're being punished or you're doing all the wrong things and things aren't going to work out. But this is your message that there is a magic, whether you believe in literal magic or if this is a metaphor for you when it comes to how the universe operates, you know, the astrological energies, um, things going for your highest good, um, trusting your spirit team, whatever this might mean for you, even like the divine, trust that. Trust the magic. Trust 
yourself. Trust that you are capable to go through this because we all have that spark of a creator in us, right? We're all walking and embodied creators. And as creators and creative people, even if it's not like arts, we can create new circumstance. So trust that, trust the magic, trust the universe and allow yourself this journey of vulnerability because there is a purpose to it and you're going to come out on the other side. Notice also how dark this card are, is, are, <laughs> how dark this card is. And notice all the stars and the glow of the raven's eyes. So there's still light in the darkness, even if it seems like there's not much of it, it's there. And we know that after night comes daytime, right? So hang in there and take care of yourself, hydrate, um, move your body if that's available to you, and do all these things that you can do. Even take a day maybe off and just tend to yourself, you know, make a little date with yourself. And with that, I wish you a beautiful week ahead and I'll see you next week. You'll probably see a video. I've kind of been getting back into two videos a week, even if the second one tends to be a little late, but I've gotten back into that. So I'll probably see you earlier the next week, but just in case, I'll see you next week for sure with the next Monday memo. And please go ahead and like, comment. And if you're on my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing because it helps me a lot with what I do. Um, and with that, just take care, you know, we'll get through this. Know that like there's a lot of things you might be picking on that you can release. That's not yours to carry right now. Remember to do that as well. So take care and bye.